all white Air Force Ones. Niggas coming through the hood with them Air Force guns. We got more Drakes than the Billboard. Disrespecting this type of shit you niggas get killed for. We not gonna stand for the disrespect. Get this 45 bell pressed against your neck. And every time I lift a tech, them armor pistols rip a vest. Same hood over a different set. Put hey, yo, listen, I come back. Everybody in the rage, my homies in the rage. I say my homies, Don Moves in general. You know what I mean? About this game verse. All right? Just to clarify something. When the world was saying I was disrespecting Nipsey Hussle, when all I was talking about is music and wasn't disrespecting that man as an individual, but just talking overall music, game was still talking about what niggas would do to a nigga that disrespect Nipsey Hussle. Even though the world tried to pin it on me and find me guilty for something I wasn't guilty of. Uh, I just think it was bad timing. I just checked his phone personally. The motherfucking bar has been in there about two months as he pre-writes his songs. So listen, uh, and the Rolling Sixties ain't even the one that's responsible for that. Powers to be, y'all know what's happening. So this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna have the homie donate some money towards our funeral. So it was no disrespect intended. That ain't nothing he gotta do because it really ain't his business. But just to let you know, my nigga, that ain't what that was. Y'all let me know where it gotta go in there to get there, homie. Other than that, let's kill all the unnecessary bullshit and niggas can tend to the real shit that they don't they need to tend to, whatever that may be. You know what I mean? Let's stop putting shit on motherfuckers that shouldn't be there. The individual that lost his life, you know what I'm saying, made a homie B.I.P., he ain't even the one that's guilty of even violating Nipsey Hussle. Let's be real. We all know who's who and what's what. That man ain't the one that's been uh, guilty of violating Nipsey's murals and so on and so forth. So the one that was killed ain't even that. So you know, let's stop twisting this shit into something that it ain't got to be, man. Rest in peace to the homeboy. Shout out to all my Don Moves across the Inglewood boy, my nigga uh, Rocky, somebody, uh, Wack. Y'all tap in with me, blood. Let me know what we got to get this change to, my nigga. Hey, look, check it out. I'm on here to address a situation that was um that been coming to my DM and my phone all morning about some bars I said yesterday on my live. Um, number one, I ain't mean no disrespect to uh, Indian Red Boy, uh, R.I.P. His family, anybody close to him, and definitely not the Inglewood families at all, or no blood set in L.A. or none of that shit. Um, not only am I, not only did I not mean no disrespect to them niggas, I don't mean no disrespect to no LA gangs, no Crips, no Bloods, no SAs, none of that. This my city, um, shit. And I, you know, I stand on my rag. I've been, nigga, I've been, I didn't took this Pyro shit around the world. You know what I'm saying? I didn't been at it with Crips coming up in my career. I didn't been at it with the own, with my own homies sometimes and all that shit. Um, I ain't even too much know nothing about uh, what happened to Blood or his whole situation. None of that. Definitely not to be speaking on it. Um, like I told some of the homies I had, nigga, I be right. I be having bars in my phone all the time. I had, um, I had them bars in my shit, nigga, since like May, like April or May or some shit. It's just bad timing. And since it's bad timing, since it was bad timing, and niggas feel a way or niggas feel how they feel, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rectify the situation right here. And I'm going to get with blood uh, family and uh, straighten it out whether I got to, you know, help uh, bury blood or put money on his funeral, do whatever, or do whatever I got to do. I already talked to Manchester from Inglewood family, talked to the homie Big Y, talked to WAC 100 and a few of the other homies um, who, you know, niggas understand what it is, but nigga got a platform and uh, it's supposed to be used, uh, you know, at a certain, it's supposed to be used a certain way, especially, uh, you know, at this point in the nigga life. Nigga 40 years old, nigga gotta watch, you know, really watch what he say. Not that, uh, you know, everything a nigga say gotta be, you know, censored, but niggas, you know, with the LA gangbang politics, niggas don't really even usually speak on that shit, so. You know, if uh, if if I spoke out of line, I gotta I gotta stand on that. I gotta rectify the situation. I gotta make shit right, and uh, and I'm gonna do that. As far as niggas trying to press me or press a line and do none of that shit, I'm nigga. I ain't never been running from no heat, no none of that shit, man. I'm me. I stand on my shit. It is what I. What it is what it is. Um, and if you you know if niggas hear me, you know trying to rectify the situation and right my wrongs, um, and they still feel a certain way, nigga, you ain't really fuck with me anyway. So it is what it is. Um, I'm going to continue to, uh, you know, holler at the big homies and, and, and shit and, and, and fix the shit. Um, cause it is my bad, uh, bad time. Yo, 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 it's big ant man back. Another edition of urban politicians, TV, UP TV. Make sure you stay on your pivot, man. 
Hey, had to come tap in one time. I want to first send condolences to Indian Red Boy's family, loved ones, and people. He was the brother that lost his life in the car, the shooting that happened on IG Live that like went all over the internet, hit the news and everything. And then that is what this whole thing is about with Game and Wack 100 coming and responding to the backlash from the lyrics of the game. Because when he recorded that song, this is right after this situation happened. It's all over the internet. Nipsey name gets tied to it, which is that. That's the politics of the streets. Ain't for me really to speak on with the what they saying going on. That's LA. If you know, you know. But people is gonna take it like you kind of dissing homie. That's what happened with the internet. And they like, hold on. This is why they had to come out and respond. Now I'll say that to say this. They did they did apologize. Said they're gonna make the situation right. Hey, that's the politics of they streets, they city. I'm from H Town, I'm not from LA. I can't tell nothing. Like that's they situation. How they get down, how is how they get down. But I will say this, uh when you do make a mistake, you gotta make it right. If you a man, that ain't about being a pussy, that ain't about being a coward. If you know you done something that was out of line, or even if it wasn't done intentionally, if even if you did it by mistake. You got to go ahead and rectify that situation and get it on point, man. That's just what real men do. That ain't, that's just being a man. But I want to say this, bro, it's crazy to me. And this is just this. I'm not from LA, but how do I know all the LA politics going on with this situation or the different scenarios? I mean, it's crazy how the internet works, bro. This is like, and it's bigger than, it, it, it's like, I'm not trying to downplay this situation. I'm just like, or put it on this situation specifically because it's been happening where nigga LA we would never know what would be going on bro we would never know like oh the bloods got this going on the crips got this going on this and that but because of the internet which has been a gift and a curse nigga we got niggas damn near solving the crime on the internet we got niggas doing process of eliminations who could have did it and I'm not trying to disrespect them niggas or anybody but I'm just like what the fuck is really going on now bro and then that brought me to my next thought process where they, they fucked me up when I heard the uh, Indian guy on uh, Andrew Schultz podcast, uh, him, him and Andrew Schultz got the podcast together, Flagrant 2, he came out and said that he could see that rappers were fake gangsters, basically. In so many words, he said this, rappers are fake gangsters because Takashi is still living. And I said, this is where we at now. Uh, our culture is on display because of the internet. We seeing how it really works in the streets as far as as close as possible as we can besides being there in the actual room with people breaking down gang politics, niggas naming actual gang members' names and, and then um, actually seeing the murders online, even with places like Chicago, uh, St. Louis, uh, Memphis and other places that have very heavy gang culture. We have gang culture here in Ace Time. I gr I grew up with gang members. I know gang members and everything like that. So it'd be like, damn, the internet really got this shit on display now, where it's not in a secret society or nothing no more, bro. And it's like, fuck, the police can watch these videos and really solve crimes now, bro, or just know who's who, who what. Not to mention, you already got niggas in the streets doing too much talking. Not to mention, they got niggas on gang files already. Not to mention that you got niggas in the jails talking and all these information gets spread. They got all this phone taps, wire taps, and everything. And it's just wicked as fuck to see this shit going on, bro, where we are now being able to see how gang politics work. The gang names being named in this shit. And this and this and that. And it's like, damn, this shit is all over the internet where now niggas disrespect each other on the internet in LA. And it's like, bro, we, I never saw that at first. I mean, I was out the loop a little bit, I guess. I don't know, but it's like this situation right here just really exposed it to me that some LA gangbang culture shit has, can go motherfucking viral. And it's viral now. We've seen, now I'm not saying we wasn't numb and we didn't see or not know the LA gang shit went on. It's been going on forever. This is some 50 year old shit. You know what I'm saying? We know this. We know the stories, we know the documentaries, but I'm talking actual incidents. We haven't seen a whole lot of those 
just go viral like that and then names get dropped and details and everything. You know, a few other people have gone viral through World Star on some gang shit and things like that. But to see that in 2021 was multiple niggas and everybody weighing in, everybody uploading YouTube comments, even or, or videos, even myself uploading this, but it's not for me to expose a piece no murder together or piece some politics together because that ain't my place. I respect the land, but it's just Damn, the shit is wild, bro. And understand with this LA shit, bro. We know dog, that these niggas is in a war zone. It's it's a fifty year old war, bro. Basically, or whenever the first murder murder happened with the gangs that started, we know it's it's forty year plus war going on in LA where niggas is killing each other, niggas is dying, and you can sit up there and judge on the outside, but I I know what's going on, bro. How a nigga walk outside and. Nigga, you a teenager, and this is what you see when you go outside, so you got to make a decision, and your decision could be, hey, this all I know. I don't know no other way, so fuck it. I got to jump down with these niggas. These the niggas that's on the corner outside. These the niggas that's going to say, hey, man, them niggas over there, we don't fuck with them niggas. Here go your strap, nigga. Get down. Nigga, take care of yourself out here, nigga, if you see these niggas. And it's a motherfucking war zone, bro. Just everything ain't motherfucking publicized, but it's getting more and more publicized. But, hey, man, I got to send condolences to Indian Red Boy and anybody else in L.A. that has been losing their life from this gang war. Don't don't be, don't be get it twisted. This gang war got created by the fucking government, bro. That's not, a, I don't do the conspiracy theory shit. I speak facts. This got created by the government. Do your homework, nigga. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV. Hit the like button, dislike button, however you feel. Uh, hit the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Stay on your pivot, man, for shit show.